so this is Bobby. I'm here with Ron at Fusix, and we're going to take a look at what they're showing off at AWE 2013. So, Ron, take it away. What do you got here for us? So we have okay, well, let's, uh, we've got a full range of augmented reality eyewear. Let's start first with some of the products that have been around for a little while. Uh, for items that connect to a Windows-based PC, this is our RAP 1200 AR. It's a digital see-through, meaning that the user sees the world through the eye of the stereo camera pair on the front of the unit. Um, that's a, uh, uh, a great product for research and development um, applications uh, in that area. Therefore, so we need our SDK. And then we have beside it also it connects to a Windows-based PC is our Star 1200 XL. This is what's called an optical see-through. So the two displays, you can see directly through them and see the real world. And then there's also a 1080p camera on the device for picking up markers, targets, and so forth. The augmented content then is then displayed as an overlay uh, on the user's, uh, in the user's line of sight. And that connects to a VGA port on a PC. And then we also have another model that's identical to this but connects with an HDMI interface. Like then you also have the M100 headset. Yep, that's the one that uh, a lot of the buzz is going on about. This is a complete Android smartphone minus a cellular connection. So you can run applications directly in the device, load them on here, run them on here as a standalone device, either on its own or connected to the cloud, either one. You can also run applications on a smartphone. I've got here uh, an Android tablet, just because it's a little easier for demonstrating, but it can be any Android device. You can run your applications on there and use the M100 strictly as a hands-free heads-up display. A third mode of operation, you can run apps that are designed to work together that run both on the M100 and the Android device. This is particularly useful for augmented reality because you can use the camera on the M100, feed it directly into the onboard processor, do all of your work there without any lag or delay, and then just access data or whatever database or software and data you have on the device. So there's three different ways of using it. As far as controlling the unit, there's four buttons on it, an on-off button, forward and back, and a select button. So you can access uh, and manage your applications directly on the device. Or if you want, you can also load uh, existing Android apps, a uh, voice control software on it, and do your commands that way. You can also pair it to your Android device and use its GUI interface for accessing your applications. This on the top is what you see in the device. You also also have a trackpad for mouse control, keyboard yeah, entry. We so you have all of the okay. typical How we um, go through with our stuff through your convenience that thing. of an Android device, uh, but in a hands-free yeah. environment. And then tell us a little bit about what you're uh, displaying behind us yeah. here. Okay, this is the first of our smart glasses product. Yeah. Next um, year, what, what we'll be bringing out is the B2500. That's a binocular display, okay. and it uses our new so waveguide technology. So, so the displays on that, the they're fully see-through. Um, they're a quarter HD display, so you can uh, display 3D, and again, it's a full Android operating system right on board. Great. Thanks so much. Thank you.